All right, guys, this is the Sam Sober Show, and uh, this is your host, LP. Today we have an interesting topic, one that you all can relate to. I know that you've heard your sisters, maybe even your mothers, aunts, um, all the ladies in your life, from coworkers to uh, just the lady across the street, they all proclaim to want a good man. And that's that's fine. That's great. And I think there are lots and lots of good men out there that women, you know, could could take a hold to and uh, they would be happy. And I think the man would be happy. But in actuality, do women really want a good man? I was giving you a second to think about it. <laughs> uh, most of the time, women, they go out and uh, they might meet a guy at the club or at a bar. Hey, shit, maybe even at the gym. Now, we'll go with number one, the club. Is a good man really hanging out at the club? Or is he the party guy? Is he the guy that you want to have fun with? Is he the guy that's, that's making things exciting? Same thing with the bar. This guy's drinking, having a good time, and he's most likely looking to pick up some some easy trim, which you may be, all right? Uh, maybe not though, but whatever. But as you can see what I'm saying, this man is in an environment that is not conducive to quote unquote, the good guy, the guy that you want to marry, bring home, uh, be the father of your children. When, when you hear that, 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 that bump in the night hops up and, and wants to protect the house, wants to be the protector and the provider. So you, you really need to look at what you want out of a man and then try to find that inner man and not in those places where men typically aren't on that page. Sure, good men go out sometimes. Sure, good men go to clubs. Sure, they go to bars. But the overall majority aren't there the good man who's uh who you want to take the church isn't up on saturday night to two three four five o'clock in the morning because he can't get up for church you know that's what you said you want you said you was a god-fearing woman and that you love the lord mm-hmm. yeah baby i got you <laughs> Uh, everybody can have, go out and have a good time every once in a while. But, hey, you know what I'm saying. So, do you really want a good man, ladies, or do you want a party guy? Do you want somebody who's going to be the life of the party, give you some excitement, get you out of your comfort zone, give you something you hadn't had in a long time? Yeah, think about it. Let me know in the comments. But, you, but, you know, in life, we have to be real with ourselves. It don't matter what we say. It, it only really matters what we do. And uh, if you're picking up guys, uh, even if you're picking up a guy, or a guy's picking you, hollering at you in the grocery store, and uh, he's 35 plus, and you see him with his Jordans on and uh, his athletic gear, if he's not coming from the gym, is 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 that what you really want to represent and portray in your life? Are you trying to go to the Met Gala? Or are you trying to go to the to the uh, the local the local spot? You know, you have to find someone who wants to be where you want to go. And if that makes sense, you get it. If it doesn't, you don't get it. But if he's not trying to go where you want to go, you wasting your time. And that's the same way with men. Men will find this fine-ass woman and she got the ass and the titties and whatnot. But at the end of the day, is this the type of woman that you want to mother your children? To raise your children, to 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 help them with their homework and uh, cook cook you dinner. Not these struggling plates you be saying on Instagram. You 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 know who I'm talking about, but that's that's not what you want, right? You you want a, a real meal, right? Well, you you can't get that at the booty club, man. 
you can't get that when she when she's shaking it and uh throwing it back on you. Cause she not in meal prep mode, bro. She is not in meal prep mode, dog. That's not gonna get it. Uh the man or woman that that you wanna raise a family with is sometimes gonna be a little boring and a and a whole lot serious because they're serious about that money. They serious about uh, their religion. They're serious about just being the best them that they can be. Self improvement. They're busy doing the things that that gives end results. They're doing the things that uh that promote growth. They're doing the things that that will help them accomplish the goals that they have written down. These people are active and they're doing things. They're not out wasting time. So then again, who do you want? What do you want? And where are you trying to meet these people at? Can can you justify that woman at the club taking all your drinks that you provide? Is she, is she the type of woman that you want? Because even though you might be the provider, and in this modern society, you 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 definitely want somebody who gonna have your back. They, they you might don't want them to go fifty fifty, but you damn sure want them to pitch in from time to time on recreational things. You know, not 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 necessarily the house, the the, the mortgage or the light bill, but when we just going out having a good time, relaxing. Is it always on you? Is that what you want? Never to have a break. To make sure you provide all the all the entertainment and recreation. You just want a pretty face. That's what you're looking for. I know, dog. You're just looking for that pretty face right now. You know, shit. You're going to take your 20% and turn it to 80 I can dig it, baby. But she can't do a goddamn thing past that. I can feel it. All right. So, in closing, what do you really want? Do you want that party guy? Be honest with yourself. I know you need some excitement in your life, and uh, that excitement breaks up the monotony of you working your nine to five and you you just want to go out and relax and let your hair down and have a good time. But is that really what you want? Is that the, really the guy or the girl that you want to settle down and spend the rest of your life with? Or you 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 think you're going to change the leopard spots? You're going to take the party guy and the party girl and you're going to make them into something that they're really not. You're going to help them. You're going to mold them. You're, gonna, you, you're just going to take them and anoint their forehead while they sleep and you're going to pray over them. You're going to talk to them. You're going to fix their life like a Yana, even though that's what attracted you to them in the first place, the party and the life of the party, the having a good time. Is that what you're going to do? You're going to bless them in such a way that they change their stripes and they come home every night and they don't have that desire to go out anymore or to be at the bar or to be in the club, or to be chasing women in the gym. That's what you're going to do. You're going to do that because you're just that good. You're the only one. You are the one. You're the chosen one. you John goddamn Snow. I know it. You can face dragons, slay zombies, and turn holes in the housewives. Yeah, you can do it. You can turn that nothing man into something. Fix him up, spin him around, set him on the couch, and he happy as hell to be sitting on that couch and not running the streets anymore. I won't call you a damn fool, but uh, I just want you to look at yourself in the mirror and uh, go and analyze your past relationships. And what you've been picking and how you've been picking. And then, you don't have to tell me. But when you sit at the edge of that bed, think about it. 
Have you been making the best choices for your life? Have you been making the best choices to produce the outcomes that you say you want? All right, guys, that's it. Comment down below. I need you guys to uh, sit down and really think about that. Until next time, this is LP, host of the Sam Sober Show.